Hello, this is Kevin, aka Brick Ninja from Revelug, and today we're going to be looking at this set that LEGO sent me to do a review on, and this is set number 75269, The Duel on Mustafar. This set has 208 pieces and retails for $20. This is the second time they've done one of these more playset slash landscape based uh, lightsaber battles. And uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, built up and see what we got here. Alrighty, so we got this guy all built up and ready to go, and uh, let's go ahead and jump into our Rebelug member quote, and today that is from Finn, and he says, when the floor is lava goes too far, and you realize someone just threw up red and yellow bricks across your floor, and yet it still looks better than this set's sorry attempt at lava. Yep. Um, very, very colorful wording there, Finn. Uh, but I have a hard time arguing with that. It's pretty bad on the lava design. It doesn't even really look like lava. The best implements is probably when they've got the trans orange over the top of the yellow. But the red just doesn't really work that well. Occasionally they've got trans orange over the top of it. But ultimately this set looks ugly. It has a couple of play features here. You can hinge it out long ways or short ways, um, spin it around however you want. I just find this one really awkward. You can slide these guys around and clash them. This gets in the way. Fortunately, you can spin it out. Um, it's just it's just kind of awkward. Uh, they do have this exploding lava little gimmicky thing. And that's kind of cool, but these studs are going to be lost super quick, so it's going to be a short-lived play feature. And I don't know if this is supposed to be a play feature, but if you spin that out, it falls down a little bit, but it gets caught on this slope, so it doesn't fall down far. Um, I find this one really awkward and really ugly. On the other hand, if you take a look at the one from Starkiller Base that they did uh, last year. This one I feel like is significantly better. It displays well and it also plays fairly well. You can do the whole earthquake it breaking open thing and you can have the trees fall over, you can have them fight like that there. Um, fighting's still a little awkward but I feel like on this one you just build the trees you know, a little bit taller, and you're good to go for a pretty solid display set. On the other hand, the Mustafar one, I think I think if you want to make a display set, you're starting completely over. If they wanted to do something more like the Starkiller base one, I really think they should have done the Lava River, and then do the hill coming up, and have Obi-Wan have the high ground, Go go full-fledged meme, um, but it also just would have a much better visual, and you could still have the two robots on the river and make them clash. You could do a little catapult thing if you want to try to have Anakin jump over Obi-Wan. I just, I just think this one doesn't... I think this one just doesn't really work that well. As far as figures, let's take a look at these guys. We have two brand new versions of figures we've had before. We'll go ahead and start with Anakin. Both of these figures have slightly battle damaged or scorched markings on their torso. 
and that's really the main difference on these guys and we can spin all the way around um, pretty decent print I kinda like getting uh, small variations on figures like that Anakin also has a less Sith face option that you can uh, take a look at there Obi-Wan kinda the same story battle damage slash scorched and uh, still a pretty solid printing and figure design it's just not super readily useful you know you don't need this a whole lot of time but I do like it and Obi-Wan has a less angry facial expression right there so overall I like these figures pretty well and definitely one of the highlights of the set actually the highlight of the set because the set isn't that great um, and then as far as mock building the set is definitely better used torn apart than built as it is, but there isn't a whole lot here that's super exciting. Uh, there's quite a few trans orange tiles, which are cool, but beyond that, I think the best part's got to be the ski, or ice skate, I should say, uh, piece right there on the side of the droid, but... Not a whole lot here as far as excitement either. Rebelug members gave this a 5.6 out of 10, and 25% of members were planning on picking this up, most of them citing for the figures. So I think it is a decent selection of figures. It's just really kind of disappointing on the build itself. So if you're looking for the figures... I'd say try to pick this one up on sale. If you don't have interest in the figures, it's a super easy set to skip. It's not that exciting. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we shall see you on the next one. Thank you.